Hello, welcome on the YouTube lecture series. Myself, Professor Harish Bangari. So today we will discuss from the topic from your course, Basic Electrical Engineering. So today we will discuss the magnetic circuits. In last lecture, we already discussed what is electromagnetism, what is magnetics, what are the different laws of magnetism that we studied. Now today, let us highlight on the different definitions, basic definitions in the magnetic circuits. The objective of today's lecture is to conceptualize the basic terms associated with magnetic circuits, to analyze electrical and magnetic circuits. The contents of this lecture is the introduction, then basic definitions, and lastly, we'll highlight on a magnetic circuit. So let us revise the few topics that we previously discussed, that is magnetic lines of force. The magnetic lines of force is nothing but the closed path radiating from North Pole passes through the surrounding and terminates at the South Pole and is from South to North Pole within or internally the body of the magnet. That's from the closed loop. The properties of negative lines of force are each line forms a closed loop and it never intersect with each other. The lines are like stretched elastic cords. Lines of force which are parallel and in the same direction repel each other. Now, what is magnetic field? The magnetic field is nothing but the space around which magnetic lines of force act. It is the space around the magnet, which is under the influence of the force exerted by the magnetic lines. And that is nothing but the magnetic field. The strong near the magnet and weakens at points away from the magnet. So as we move away and away from the magnet, the magnetic field strain becomes weaker and weaker. And as we comes near and near to the magnet, the magnetic field strain becomes stronger and stronger. The magnetic materials, there are different magnetic materials we are using, different properties of that materials are there. The points in the direction of geometric north and south pole when suspended freely and attracts ion fillings. So the basic property of the magnetic material is, or the magnet is, it points in the direction of geometric north and south pole of the earth when they are suspended freely and they attracts the ion fillings. The magnetic material can be classified as natural magnets, temporary magnets, and non-magnetic materials. Electromagnets, these are the temporary magnets. We already discussed in detail the working and the construction of the electromagnets. The principle of the electromagnet is an electric current flowing in a conductor creates a magnetic field around it. The strength of the field is proportional to the amount of current in the coil. The field disappears when the current is turned off. So in case of electromagnet, its magnetic influence is only whenever the electric current is flowing through the coil. As soon as we switch off the electric current, there will be no magnetic field around that coil. A simple electromagnet consists of a coil of insulated wire wrapped around an iron core. So here is the insulated wire which is wrapped around this core. Widely used as components of motors, generators, relays, etc. Now, what is magnetic circuit? The magnetic circuit is nothing but a complete closed path followed by any group of the magnetic lines of flux. So this is a magnetic circuit. N number of coils turns are there and it is the equivalent electric circuit. Now let us see the different basic definitions related to magnetic circuit. The very first an important definition is the magnetomotive force, that is MMF. 
This magnetomotive force is analogous in the electric circuit with EMF, that is electromotive force. So the force which drives the magnetic lines of force through a magnetic circuit is called magnetomotive force. So this magnetomotive force is responsible for the flow or for the production of the magnetic lines of forces. The MMF, that is F, it is equal to phi S, where phi is the magnetic flux and S is the reluctance of the magnetic path. So for electromagnet, MMF is equal to Ni, that is N is nothing but the number of turns and I is the current flowing through the coil. So where <clears throat> the unit of this magnetic force is 80, that is ampere turns. Now this MMF is analogous with the electromotive force EMF and that represent V is equal to IR in electric circuit and here in magnetic circuit F is equal to phi S. So this is the analogy EMF V is equal to IR. Now the next definition is for magnetic flux. This is analogous to electric current in the electric circuit and in magnetic circuit this flux is given as the number of magnetic lines of force created in a magnetic circuit. So the unit of this magnetic flux is Weber and the analogy is I current in the electric circuit. Next definition is reluctance. Now the reluctance, it is analogous with the resistance in the electric circuit and the reluctance can be defined as the opposition of a magnetic circuit to the setting up of magnetic flux in it. So simply reluctance is the property of the magnetic material which opposes, which opposes the magnetic flux. So the flux phi is equal to BA and F is equal to MMF is equal to HI and B is equal to mu H. So the ratio of flux phi and force F is phi upon F is equal to phi is equal to BA and F is equal to HI. So it is BA upon HI and is equal to B is equal to mu H, mu is equal to mu zero mu R into A upon L. So here phi is equal to, you can write mu zero mu R into A upon L. By rearranging this equation, we'll get phi that is flux is equal to F upon L upon mu zero mu R A. And this we can replace by the quantity that is the reluctance that is yes. So it becomes F upon yes, where yes is the reluctance is equal to L upon mu zero mu R A. And hence the relation for yes, that is the reluctance is always equal to F upon phi. And this unit is ampere turns per vapor. And this is analogous with the resistance R in the electric circuit. V is equal to IR. So R is equal to V upon R. R is equal to V upon I. Okay. So this is analogous with the electric circuit with the resistance. Resistance is the property of the material which opposes the flow of electric current. Similarly, here the reluctance is the property of the magnetic material which opposes the flow of the flux, setting up of the flux. Now, the next definition is permeance. Permeance is defined as the measure of ease with which magnetic flux can be admitted to a material or magnetic circuit. So permeance is simply the reciprocal of reluctance. One upon reluctance is the permeance. So permeance is directly proportional to the magnetic flux. So from the above equation, we can say that the quantity of magnetic flux for a number of ampere turns is dependent on permeance. The next definition is of magnetic flux density is denoted by B. The number of magnetic lines of force created in magnetic circuit per unit area normal to the direction of flux lines. That is nothing but the magnetic flux density. And it is given as B is equal to phi upon A. Number of lines of force created in magnetic circuit per unit area. It is phi upon A and its unit is Weber per meter square or it is also given as a Tesla. 
Next definition is for magnetic field strength, that is the H. And it's always equal to Ni upon L. It is the magnetomotive force per meter length of the magnetic circuit. Ni upon L, and its unit is M ampere turns per meter. And the analogy to the electric circuit is with current density. An analogy of the magnetic field strain in the electric circuit is with electric field strain. Then next definition is of permeability. In the word permeability, ability word is there. Permeability is the property of a magnetic material which indicates the ability of magnetic circuit to carry magnetic flux. It is simply the ability of the magnetic circuit to carry the magnetic flux is nothing but the permeability. And it is denoted by mu and it is always equal to B upon H. And its unit is Henry per meter. So the permeability of a free space or air or non-magnetic material is always mu zero is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. The relative permeability is always equal to mu r is equal to mu upon mu zero. Analogy is with the conductivity. Permeability is analogy with electric circuit is with conductivity. Now, the analogy point of view, let us compare electric circuit with the magnetic circuit. Here are the few points. In electric circuit, the EMF E is equal to IR and it is measured in hold, while in magnetic circuit, the analogous quantity is MMF, that is magnetomotive force, and it is F is equal to pi S and it's measured in ampere turns, AT. Electric circuit, we measure the current, that is I, and it's measured in ampere, while in magnetic circuit, it is a flux and unit is Weber. In electric circuit, current density is there, J, ampere per meter square, while in magnetic circuit, flux density, that is V is there, and it is measured in Weber per meter square, or Tesla. In electric circuit, resistance is there, R, and is measured in the unit ohm. The analogous quantity of the same in the magnetic circuit is reluctance and is measured in ampere turns per Weber. Electric field strength in electric circuit holds per meter, while analogous to it in magnetic circuit is magnetic field strength H ampere turns per meter. A conductivity in electric circuit in Siemens per meter and in magnetic circuit is permeability in Henry per meter. So what is the difference between electric and magnetic circuit? In electric circuit, current actually flows. In magnetic circuit, flux is produced and it is not a flow. It is generated and it is created. Let us summarize the points. Current flowing in a conductor creates a magnetic field around it. The complete closed path followed by any group of magnetic lines of force is termed as magnetic circuit. The characteristics of magnetic circuit are analogous with that of electric circuits. So this is about the certain basic definitions in magnetic circuits. So you prepare well. So today we'll end here. Thank you.